What's up, everybody? Just wanted to give you guys a five-minute PD on a couple MacBook resources. Uh, first one would be Finder, and the second one would be Spotlight Search. And if you are new to Mac, like many users, when you look at this desktop right here, you might be a little intimidated and say, you know, where is everything? I'm used to seeing a Windows desktop. As you can tell with Mac, uh, they don't like to keep anything on the desktop itself. itself. There is a dock in the bottom, uh, which will have shortcuts to a lot of your favorite applications, but I'm going to show you how to find things on your computer. So if you're going to go down to your dock and take a look, what the first thing you're going to look for is the Finder icon. And you can find that by looking for, uh, it's usually a blue face, and it's usually somewhere towards the left or the right. So I'll come down to my dock and find the Finder icon here and just simply click on it. What will open up is a window that's very similar to what you would have found if you would have clicked the My Computer. Uh, on the left hand side it will show you all your uh, typical folders, documents, uh, photos, videos, music, etc. Uh, and you'll have the ability just to click on it uh, and it also allows you to drag and drop anything to anywhere you want to go. Another great feature in Finder is that you can color code everything. So let's say you're creating lesson plans and you always mark your lesson plans with a pink or a green dot. Dots are known as tags and they can actually be really helpful if you were looking for something in a quick uh, and need to find it quickly. So you can search for all your lesson plans in one simple click by just looking for yellow uh, or pink colored lesson plan tabs. So that's Finder. So let me click out of here. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to use the spotlight search. And up in the top right hand corner there's magnifying glass. And what that's going to allow you to do is search for any key phrase. And it will find applications, documents, emails, if you link your email through there, anything you want. So I typed in pages, which is the equivalent of Microsoft Word uh, here in the Mac. And it will just allow me to find all of my pages documents and the application itself. So let's say you may have saved something but you're not sure where you saved it to. By simply typing the phrase of what you saved it at into Finder can save you a lot of time for looking at it uh, and it will allow you just to simply click on it and whatever application you use to create it, it will open that up to allow you to view it. I hope you found this video on Spotlight Search and Finder helpful. If you have any requests for videos, please email me and stay tuned for more MacBook tutorials. Thanks for watching.